What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. By the way, there seems to be a subscriber glitch happening every night at like 2 or 3 in the morning. I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying that they were unsubscribed. Just make sure that you're still subscribed. There's a red button down below. If it's not clicked, then you're not subscribed and clicking it would fix that problem. So I hope that I hope that you do. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 disappoints with their sales. This is um, a really bizarre thing to write. I mean, it's got 13 million copies sold, even with refunds. Now, Cyberpunk 2077 sold 13 million copies, even with refunds. Despite a catastrophic PS4 and Xbox One debut, Cyberpunk uh, sounds like it's 2020's biggest launch. Look, I mean, the game uh, had 8 million pre-orders, right? So, I mean, there's that. Uh, despite an ocean of negative post-launch publicity and extraordinary guarantees of refunds, still sold 13 million copies from its December 10th launch through December 20th in just 10 days. And these are copies still in players' hands on their hard drives. Publisher CD Projekt Red said in a note to their investors. Now, this is you know, how many got refunded in the last three days. I don't know. 13 million Figures as units sold through, meaning copies actually bought customers across all platforms. This factors in returns submitted by retail clients and brick and mortar, as well as digital storefronts, um, as well as all refund requests emailed directly to the company. Aside from that, the 13 million figure likely makes Cyberpunk 2077 the biggest launch among all video games in 2020. Among third-party games, Activision and Ubisoft have been coy about exact figures for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, respectively, but both November launches appear to have set records. Activision said Black Ops Cold War set a franchise record worldwide for sales on its first day. Activision didn't provide unit sales or dollar month, but last year's Call of Duty Modern Warfare made $600 million in the first three days, which assumes about 10 million copies at 60 bucks each. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, likewise, does not have its sales figures broken out, but with Ubisoft calling it the biggest launch week for franchise ever, we know that at least beats the records of 3.5 million copies sold by Assassin's Creed 3 in 2012. Now, interestingly enough, Cyberpunk fails to deliver again as game sales disappoint. Really? 13 million copies is disappointing? That seems odd. CD Projekt's... Uh, Lower than expected sales figures of its Cyberpunk 2077 game disappointed analysts and prompted concern about the timing of future releases. The Polish studio said more than 13 million copies were sold by December 20th, a figure which factors in the number of refund requests, um, but it doesn't, the update doesn't include information about the scale of refunds uh, themselves, just providing the net sales number. Morgan Stanley downgraded the stock to equal weight from overweight following the sales update. Quote, it's difficult to believe CD Projekt has the capacity to deliver as heavy a slate of new content as we previously expected. Morgan Stanley analyst uh, wrote, the most important near-term issue is a timeline to fixing cyberpunk bugs, they said. The stock traded as much as 6% lower and 3% higher on Wednesday. It closed up a half a percent. Now, the 13 million copies of Cyberpunk represents an estimated volume of retail sales across all hardware platforms, factoring in returns. The sales number is about half of the 12-month sales forecast in a Bloomberg survey of nine analysts. So they thought CD Projekt said in a regulatory filing on Tuesday, analysts surveyed by Newswire had an estimate estimated the game would sell 16.4 million copies by December 24th um it's i mean it's possible it's 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 a seven, a certainly possible look at grand theft auto 5 135 million that's insane i need to play that game PUBG 70 million pac-man 34 million red dead redemption 2 32 million call of duty modern warfare 30 million diablo 2 the elder scrolls these are all 30 million these games are huge you know it's funny like when you think about you know it we're still talking about a gigantic financial success for CD Projekt Red, but missing sales numbers by four million. Does that mean that they had millions of refunds? Certainly, um, the game not being on the PlayStation Store 
has affected its ability to increase sales numbers. Uh, and when you look at the stock today, it's down about, what, 3%, just under 3%. Not catastrophic, but still continuing to trend down ever since the game released. Uh, now, Cyberpunk does have some fun news um, and an absurd article. This PS1 demake of Cyberpunk 2077 turns Keanu Reeves into a satanic giraffe. The launch of Cyberpunk 2077 has been less than stellar, but at least the community is coming together to prod and poke fun in the form of countless memes. They've already been a bundle of bug compilations, as well as a terrifying secret character creator. But this PS1 style demake of the game, bugs and all, is possibly one of the greatest things to come out of the chaos. So I want to shout out um, this creator, Anders Lundbjork. Uh, I won't watch it here. I won't rob him of the views. You should go watch it. It's it's pretty funny. Uh, and then we're going to end on probably the dumbest headline ever. But first, New York Post still saying, Glitch Plague Cyberpunk misses sales forecasts. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk sold a staggering 13 million copies between, between December 10th and 20th, but it still fell short of the 16.4 million units analysts had predicted. What this is is... Um, you know, a perfect way to describe how, what's wrong with modern video games. A game could sell 13 million copies in 10 days and it's not enough. That's what happens when you have shareholders. The game's trouble rollout have already sent CD Projekt shares tumbling 40% since early December. Reports of the game's seemingly unfinished state began to make waves a week before its release. On Wednesday, the U.S. version of the Warsaw stock uh, were down 2.8%. Now, I think they'll come back. I definitely do. But articles like this, Cyberpunk 2077 is game of the year in the same way that Hitler was Time's man of the year. What? It's been a heck of a month for CD Projekt Red. The poll suited behind The Witcher released its latest smash hit, Cyberpunk 2077, riding a wave of positive advanced reviews. It gave an initial Metacritic score of 91 out of 100. After eight years in development, three delays and countless hours, blah, 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 blah. The truth is, Cyberpunk 2077 has seen the most disastrous launch for a game of its size since, well, perhaps the history of the gaming business. That's quite, that's just quite, that's just not true. Um... Fallout 76 was literally bricking consoles. The Metascore, it's now 86 for the PC versions, with the console editions hovering in the lower 50s, an unthinkably low score for a game of this stature. The game is a complete debacle in almost every angle, and it impressively sums up everything that needs to be changed about video games, from how they're made, to how they're marketed, to who they're made for. Well, I don't know. How Cyberpunk single-handedly represents everything wrong with video games today. I guarantee it's going to be... I knew it. I knew they were going to say crunch. Journalists are obsessed with crunch. I don't care about crunch. Uh, riddled with glitches and bugs? Yeah, I would say that that's true. There's no indication before the release date that it would be significantly impaired on older systems. Fair. Marketing material came from high-performance machines, which is normal in the business, but CDPR tried to exert additional control over what footage made it out in public before release. That is a big problem. With its lengthy hype cycle and years of carefully managed press touting its groundbreaking and innovative nature, Cyberpunk sold 8 million copies before release, meaning it was already a smash hit before it was ever released. Yeah, pre-order culture is, is bad. Uh, definitely bad. That unbridled gamer hatred was then turned on CDPR when, oh, when one games journalist who personally suffered a seizure wrote about the irresponsibility of including something like in a video game. A few days before it was released, she was viciously blasted by fans of the game who, had even, who hadn't even played it yet. In a flashback to the kind of hostility. Oh, gamer. All right. So we know this. We know that this person's a moron. I mean, you're literally... I mean, it, it might be the dumbest headline, but it's also maybe the best headline. You know, if we look at the current Metacritic scores, actually, I was curious if we've seen uh, any fluctuation there. I also think it's pretty rich that when, let's say, I don't know, The Last of Us 2 gets a wave of negative reviews, everyone just says it's a review, says it's a review brigade. When it's cyberpunk, it's deserved, right? 
You have on PC, it's still only a 7.1. That's not very good. And that's based on 24,000 ratings. Yes, people are enjoying this game. Yes, the reviews are mostly positive. It's just that it's not what everyone had hoped. If we look at it on PlayStation 4, it's brutal. A 54 Metacritic score with a 3.3 user rating. Now, with only 8,000 reviews, you got to remember, too, that people, the people that leave reviews are generally the ones that are unhappy. This is just the, the, the way it is. You go to Xbox, same thing. It's actually a slightly higher score, but it's still a 4.5. I mean, this is not great. Um, and this is on the Xbox One. The PS5 reviews, Xbox Series X reviews, I mean, they're the same game. It probably doesn't chug as bad, but ultimately, you know, congrats on the 13 million sales. I know you're going to fix it. I know that that's coming down the pike, and uh, I look forward to it. I'm playing through it right now on my, on my streaming channel, which is pinned in the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.